Hello, welcome to Spurred On. This is Spurvert. I'm Rhys James. And I'm Craig Mitch. Spurvert. This is where we talk about all the things that have got us excited to be Spurs fans this week. This week, I'm pretty excited, Craig, about the fact that Spurs are taking over the England under-21s. We've got four players in there. That's more than anyone else. We've got Tom Carroll. Fair enough. Not really uh. our player. Uh, although technically is. We've got Eric Dyer. Yep. We've got Alex Pritchard. Mm. And of course, the main man himself, Harry Kane. Oh, what do you think of this? No, not a good move at all. I mean, yes, it's good to have the England under 21s for developing it's young very players. Good. Yes, it is very But good. Harry Kane doesn't need developing. He's already at that level where he's competing with the big boys. And, uh, you know, the 21s isn't the free lions, they're more like I the free would... cubs. Yeah, well, I would say if you look at his face, it is clear that he does need some developing. No. Oh. Uh, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. We don't want him to get injured, we don't want all that stuff to nope. happen. But you've got to look at the positives, mm. okay? Harry Kane loves playing for England. He does. He loves playing for the under 21s. It's his favourite thing. Mm. He loves it. We want him to be happy. We want him to come back refreshed, not resenting Spurs and the manager for not letting him go. How can he come back refreshed if he's going to spend his summer playing football mentally and not relaxing? Ah, oh, okay. Come back mentally refreshed. Okay. Gonna have taken in the Czech Republic culture. Yeah. He'll be a more cultured man in general. Yeah. And he's playing against Portugal, Italy and Sweden on 21. Yeah. Playing against the next Cristiano Ronaldo, the next Ibrahimovic, the next Pirlo. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. He's playing alongside Berahino, you know, who we're going to sign so they can get used to their relationship. What can he learn from playing alongside Berahino, Danny Ings, players of this calibre when, you know, in the actual senior team you have Wayne Rooney, you know, great, uh, John Terry. Where's John Terry retired? doesn't play for us. We'll pick up from there. Um, but yeah, so I mean, look, he has great players to play alongside in the senior team. In the under 21s, there's no one to learn from. And his manager is Gareth Southgate. You know, the guy that missed the penalty at Wembley, Euro 96, had a paper bag over his head in a Pete's Heart advert. What is he going to learn from him as a manager? Well, is he, he going to teach him how to score a penalty? There's loads of things to learn from him. Like, right, first of all, he doesn't need to learn how to shoot because he knows how to shoot. Second of all, he could do enough. with having a paper bag on his head. There's loads to learn from Gareth Southgate. Fair enough, fair enough. Remember that Instagram yeah. picture, that picture of him on the front of the magazine? Yeah. Where he looked cool in a suit, but he had that weird facial expression. 442 mag. If he had a bag on it, that would have been perfect. That's a bit harsh, that's a bit harsh. No, but look, at the end of the day, I just feel like the under 21s, it's not needed for him. I mean, he could go and do it, he could go and score lots of goals, we could brag about it, but it's just, it's not. It's a good thing, they're going to win the tournament. Southgate's won 13 of the last 14 matches. Does We're anyone really care about the under-21s? Yes. Let's, let's be realistic. Think about the In future. world football. The future is Southgate. Future oh. England manager. And Harry Kane's future England captain. Yeah. And, then, and then we don't win it and then what happens? Harry Kane, the flop who didn't save England. The headlines already. He scored three goals in the this, under the, 21s. That's, then that's what the happens? Glory. That's the glory of the under 21s. There's no pressure. Like with the England team, how Wayne Rooney's always the flop who didn't save True. England. There's no True. pressure with the under 21s. No one cares. True. And that's why it's so good. Mm. It's such a good. It's like, you know, when you go swimming, uh, when you used to go swimming when you were a kid, and you have to walk through that little pool before you got into the main yeah. pool. And it's, that's what it is. It's the, that's the end analogy. Of the it's the little thing where you paddle in that pool. Mm, I'm a pool. firm believer of throw him in at the deep end. Just throw him in, you know, no, no. no raft, People no dinghy, nothing. My, yeah. Both of my parents drown that way in a really, really weird holiday. Wow. Okay, that was part one of Spurverts. Make sure you catch part two, in which we'll be talking about all the sudden influx of transfer rumours, us getting all these foreign players. Mm. Pretty cool. Uh, catch that. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. I'm Reese. this is Craig. See you later. Second part today, Harry Kane. Your man, handsome face, 30 goals. What a player. He's staying at Spurs for the long haul.